Who's out there? Who's listening? Who wants to know more about the world that wakes up when the rest of our city goes to sleep? I know I do. And who am I? I'm your Archangel, and I'm broadcasting directly from the shadows to your ears because, Truth Seeker, you are unsatisfied with the simple story, and you want to get to the deep truth. I'm here for you. I have what you need. Let's get started. Everyone is still adjusting to the ceasefire or so-called truce recently negotiated between the Ivory Tower and the Free Barons of Los Angeles. What does it mean when the hot war for the city grows cold? And who was speaking for the Anarchs? None other than the Valley Baron and Music Mogul, who always seems to be at the center of these things. I've heard the Cami Sheriff paid him a visit soon after, but nobody seems to know exactly what that Shadow Dancer wanted at Club Maharani. I know more than a few who would give a pint of blood to have been a fly on the wall of that meeting, or to know why notable Duskborn have been seen migrating to the valley. Far be it from me to make assumptions, but I'll give you more. Next, rumors of whispers in the Rose Garden. Did a beauty from the royal court and one from the valley tryhards meet to discuss next steps? My sources say it went down, but others claim the two have not been seen together. How then could they be conversing? Then there's the matter of Griffin Park and the strange Romance can be so difficult. What does the heart want? What does it want when it hasn't beaten in a decade or three? I hear an unexpected guest in the City of Angels is also connected to the famed White Witch of Griffith Park. That must be bad news for a famously risk-loving Nosferatu, who only a few nights ago was saved from a nasty suntan. Sorry, listeners, I don't have more on this one, but maybe I don't want to. Does what happen to this certain individual feel connected to... Newsflash. Did the burning soul of the Anarch movement finally take a break? A certain member of Team Leather Jacket was seen skulking outside of the last round, and we all know which Bruja Baron hangs his hat there. Does this mean we have a rebellion fomenting speech in our future? But the truce is so young. Also, who was she seen hanging around with at that bar, and why did he not leave with her when the night was done? I'm... The future. The future. Chaos. Tune in. Hello. Good evening, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night. What you are watching this evening are the season three epilogues. These are short vignettes. One hour story that focus on specific characters or specific tales. Some of the questions that we have posed in our season three will be answered. Other questions will be asked. Before we begin, let's meet our vampires. Hi, I'm Faye Mata and I play Kyoko. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Juliet Landau, and I play Hester Ward. Hi, I'm Kendra Vaughn, and I play Violet Luna. Welcome, vampires. Alex Ward, who plays Jasper, will be joining us at a dramatically appropriate moment. And I'm Jason Carl, your storyteller. Before I start, I want to thank our friends at Backblaze, who've sponsored our epilogues. Whether you are kindred or kind, vampire or mortal, you can rely on Backblaze to keep your personal and professional data safe and ready to be restored at a moment's notice should the Inquisition come calling at your haven at a dramatically inopportune moment. Thank you, Backblaze. Please show them some love at backblaze.com slash LA by night. Tonight's epilogue is called Witching Time. Couldn't imagine why. This is the world of darkness. And in the world of darkness, the monsters are very real. But who are these monsters? Who are they really? 
we know so little about them, about where they came from, about how they became what they are, and about how they cope with being trapped, suspended somewhere between life and death. Sometimes, however, just sometimes, the mist of uncertainty and mystery parts just enough for us to glimpse, just for a little while, who they really are. With that firmly in mind, let's tell a vampire story. It's night in Los Angeles, and in the Magnolia neighborhood, shoppers are beginning to return to their cars, carrying their purchases, maybe their takeout, leaving for home, back to where it's safe, away from the things that wait in the dark. One of the shops in Magnolia is closing now. The Mystic Circle is a place where people go to buy things they need for activities that reveal the hidden, that see what is unseen. Cards, bones, mirrors, things that aid in opening the consciousness to other places and other times. Okay, um, Hester, um, yes. I dusted, uh, I swept, yes. um, I, um, I locked the cash drawer. Um, I don't know what to do with the frog things, but. Just leave them. I'll take care of it. Yeah, it's don't fine. worry about it. Oh, thank you, <clears throat> thanks, Violet. Yeah. Thank you. Um, it's wonderful. Did you pick up materials I asked for? Yes, yes, it's in the, in the big box in the back. I didn't open it like you, like you said. Yes, I. Perfect. Yeah, is that all right? Okay. Um, yes, thank you. Um, before I go, you remember you were going to teach me um, cards? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I, can we still do that? Of course. Tomorrow. We will tomorrow. start tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, I, Ooh, can't wait. I cannot wait to read my boyfriend's future. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about a few things, so. All will be revealed. Okay. Awesome. Please, um, would you uh, bolt three locks when you leave? All, all three? Yes, all three. Because usually, okay, no. all three. Three. One. All three. Two. Three. Three. Yes. Three. I got it. You can rely on me. I totally got this. Okay. Bye, Lydia. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank Good night. You. Good night, see you everybody. Tomorrow. Hey, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Lydia excuses herself exits the front door and, as instructed, shuts behind her and locks all three locks. One, two, three. And you are finally alone. How are you doing? <sighs> doing I'm doing better. Yeah, uh, I guess I've been having these weird nightmares, but. Yes, what was in last night's? 
it's it's real creepy, honestly. There's this this like a black dire wolf. Mm. It's giant. And it's it's just it it looms over everything. I just I don't see mm. anything else but this wolf and mm. this crown that it's nine on. It's like a a crown with jewels, very ornate. Are you there? Or is it just a wolf, a crown? I don't see myself. I okay. just see the wolf. It's the wolf with a black. Crown. It's a black wolf. Black wolf. And the crown not good. bleeds. It like not blood good. is dripping okay. from the crown. Okay. Mm. As if it were a limb, like a human limb or something. It's really crazy, but it kind of freaks me out. Is this the same recurring all time? Um, yeah. I keep seeing the same thing. It's pretty wild, TBH. Since you have dream expertise, we'll, we'll see. I don't... Let me know if it changes. Yeah. I'm going to be checking with you. I will know if you lie. That's fine, I got nothing to hide. It just kind of sucks. Choco? What? I will know. She's not I lying. You lying. She's stuff not out. lying. <sighs> I just. She's not lying. I worry. Can no. you blame me for worrying? Yes, I like your blue, but I'm. I'm concerned. I know. But you know me. I don't like. Yeah, I'm telling the truth. Okay. Okay. It, it just hasn't happened just before. Let, give me some time, and. Anything else you're noticing different? I mean, besides the blue streak and the blue eyes. <laughs> By the way, I'm like totally into it right now. <laughs> I look no, you rock the look. You definitely rock the look. It's not about that. It, it's Kyoko, it's always about that. <laughs> oh, it's totally sick though, right? <laughs> but do you, do you remember anything from Strauss, from the park, from... <sighs> Has anything I mean, come I'm, back? I'm flying blind here. I can't help you if I don't. Shh. Why did you have to say his name? Why did you have to say his name? Oh my. Ah! Kyoko. Little blue coruscating <sighs> licks of flame here on your fingertips. It just pisses me no. off. No. Kyoko. Hey. Hey. It's okay. Sorry. Calm. I just. Just <sighs> count. Okay, count. One. Good. Yes. Three. Good. Yes. And when you Finish. reach three, the flames flicker out and vanish. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, sorry. <sighs> I just. It wasn't a pleasant experience. Well, I know that you came back in torpor, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't like a fun party, but I also can't see anything, and I wasn't there, and I wasn't. Let's just it figure wasn't, out proactively I wasn't there. <laughs> what we need to do. That's what's most important. I'm glad you weren't there. I'm not. I'm fine. You were alone. I don't know how it happened. I don't know... Well, I don't know how you got me. left alone and what... How you even ended up that way to begin with. And yes, you're back. And yes, I'm glad. But... I just wanted to help. I know you no, did. I didn't. I didn't want. It just felt right. It felt like the right thing to do. <laughs> you know, I can't help myself. I just, I want to. I want to do. <laughs> I know, and you can, and you do. Great. And I'm fine. Now. Now you're fine. Just be careful, okay? Yeah. Uh. The last thing I remember, I guess. Uh, Aurora looked really threatening. And I, <laughs> I was on the defensive. I was, you know, I really wanted to blow her up. I was <laughs> so ready to just. <laughs> she would have deserved it. All of them would have deserved it. But he actually stopped her, or Wait. the last thing he said, the last thing he said, he said, 
no Aurora, don't, or don't Aurora, something like that. And then there was just this flash of blue. Just bright blue light. Wait, he, he stopped her? I don't know, I mean, he still sucks. So he didn't do this to you? Mm. I have no idea what happened. That's the last thing I remember. Hester, I'm gonna ask you to make a roll. Something that Kyoko has said triggers a suspicion in the back mm-hmm. of your mind. So let's take dice for your intelligence. Mm-hmm. So that is four, four black, mm-hmm. and an equal number of dice for your occult knowledge. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Where is the occult? Yes. A four. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you are at one hunger, mm-hmm. so substitute the hunger die for the black, and then mm-hmm. let's roll. See what we get. See what you recall. Hmm. Hmm. Success, success, success. Two blanks, three blanks, four blanks. Four and four. Four and four. An equal number of successes and an equal number of failures. Your knowledge of the occult is considerable and deep. You've been doing this for a while. Yes. You're aware that magic that is blue in color Mm -hmm. is sometimes associated with one of two different types of power. One is the power of control, Mm -hmm. and one is the power of loss. Between that, there's a lot of gray area, but it might be an avenue to explore. Mm. What? I'm just thinking about Maybe he's trying to control you through this. Him? Strauss. Wait, how do you, what do you mean controller? What? Oh man, I really like this look. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I don't feel like that. The dreams, maybe. The dreams, yes. What could that mean though? Does it, it would make sense, though, that the big bad would want somebody who can shoot fire. Mm. Pretty useful weapon against your enemies. Yes. And sometimes your impulsiveness. <laughs> Maybe he can use that to his benefit. Like, you two are always looking out for me. <laughs> Except when we're not there. You have to learn to take care of yourself, too. Especially if Strauss is on your heels. Well, when this is powerful, whatever is going on is very powerful. It makes people look fabulous. (laughs) You're right. I couldn't help it. It's difficult, Kyoko. If you had to choose between looking fabulous but being free, what would you choose? Rather be free. Yes. I mean, I could diet this way too, you know? Every morning. (laughs) (laughs) I hope that's not the case, though. Every night. Hester, you were there. Do you remember anything? Did he. Did he say anything to you? Did he. Only to a point, and then I don't know what happened. Hmm. I'm really grateful, by the way. I mean, I know I've said thank you like a bajillion times, but I'll never thank you enough. Of course. It was just nothing. Being in Torpor was the weirdest thing. I'd never experienced that before, you know? It's just, Mm -mm. I can't even say there was pain or it was just uh, nothing. God. Like nothing existed anymore for me. No, no, thank you. I was not going to leave you like that. 
Thank you. I feel like we just should have stayed in San Diego at this point. This has been a mess. This it's has not been, been so what we were told. I, I think this what did what did Eva tell you? Did she, she say this was safer? Did she, she say said we'd it have was backup? Much did safer. Yeah. Wait, I don't, which? I don't regret it. You know, I think. I think we just started a new chapter, and there's, there's more we can do. I survived. In fact, I feel way cooler than ever. <laughs> Stronger than ever, even. I don't know. <laughs> if there is some kind of risk of him controlling me or something, this is, it's not the case right now. I'm on your side. For now. And we're together. Just don't make it a habit, okay? Okay. Don't make anything a habit. <laughs> shop is closed, but there is a knock at the door. Are you the heck's knocking expecting right anyone? What? We will take a very short break, and then we'll see who our visitor is. Sisters, how do you want to handle this potential intrusion? Um, just be, be ready. I feel that it is generally a positive. I'm getting the door. I'm moving slowly though, and I'm gonna just kind of. I'm watching her carefully. Yeah, is there like a window in the, in the door itself, like a little? There is, but when she left, Lydia pulled down the oh. shade so yes. that you would have privacy. Okay. So if I open that, it's going to be very obvious. Yes. I always okay. ask her to Hester, are you near the door, or are you... I am near the door. You are near the door. It looks like you are ready to act if you need to. Well, I can sense that it is mostly a positive energy, I think. Hmm. It could just be Lydia. It could just be Lydia coming back and she no, forgot No, it's something. not Lydia, no. I can't help but not Lydia. start sparking up a little bit. <laughs> just excited. You're gonna set everything on fire. Just breathe. Okay. Um, Just breathe. I start undoing the locks. It'd be a lot easier if you could breathe. And sometimes you forget that you can't, but the impulse to do it is still there. Mm -hmm. Just count. I undo the first lock. Click. The second lock. Click. The third lock. The door is unlocked. I'll just slowly turn the knob and open it. Just a, a little bit. Yeah. There is nothing there but, but the LA is. evening. It's a warm night. You can smell mm -hmm. late blooming jasmine on the breeze, but. I want to sense the unseen. I'm yes. going to open the door a little bit more just to like. Okay, so Check Violet, you street. open the door, and Kyoko, you want to try Sense the Unseen? Mm hmm Me too. Okay, yeah. please make a Go dice ahead. pool. It'll be your wits, which is in your mental character sheet column, and then add dice for your auspects. Okay. And remember to put in your hunger die, and then go ahead and make that roll. Okay. Tell me what you get. Uh... Three. <laughs> three successes? Three, three onks? Three successes. What's the red die? Oh, it is a fanged 
one. Ah, so. And it's all a success, the entire roll? No, one is blank. blank. One blank. So not a messy critical. No. Very well. Visitor at the door, you'll need to make your obfuscate roll. Three successes, it's a tie. Ooh. Okay. But I know something's there. Here's what happens. Kyoko, you let your eyes see beyond the normal veil of sight. You've done this many times since you've become one of the kindred. You know how it works. Just let yourself become aware of things that normal people cannot see. And normally, that reveals whatever is hidden. And you've seen some pretty strange things revealed since you've become a vampire. But this time, all you get is a sensation. Mm. Cold chill on the backs of your hands and a familiar sense of calm. I feel like something's there, but it's okay. There's literally nothing here. Violet. Oh. I appreciate you letting me in. Jesus. So, you are not becoming visible, but you are speaking. I, as soon as I speak, I will drop my obfuscate. Mm. Good oh, evening. Okay, what Ever a nerd? Do that again. Yeah, why did you need what? to get inside? Get inside. You expect me to walk down the street like this? Good point. <sighs> Good point. Come yeah, in. Hello, yeah. Violet. Shut the door. <laughs> Hester. Hello. Kyoko. Jasper. Good to see you. What's up? It's I nice to see you too. Don't remember your eyes being that color. Oh, yeah. They're, they're pretty cool, right? <laughs> they're blue now. Sure, they're cool. I'm glad to see you're still around and walking. It took a minute, but she's back. To what do we owe this pleasure? <sighs> well, partially. I wanted to make sure Kyoko was still around. Aw, you were worried about me? Well, more feeling a little guilty as you were in my home. Well, yeah. let's call it even. I almost blew you up. That's fair. Hmm. <laughs> you did. I'm really sorry about that. I feel like that's not gonna be that easy, but we'll see. But I also had some questions. Mm. Of course. Yes. Kind of just for me. <laughs> of course. But I am glad that you're still around. Yeah, me too. I'm locking the door. Triple lock it? Yes. Three times. Yes. And pull, make sure shade is done. And pull the shade. Good idea. No. Do you remember? And Violet, unfortunately, you won't. But you remember when we were with the mirror, correct? Yes. After you went through, after you went through, and you were safely out. In a moment of panic, between Eva and I, we broke it. Completely. <laughs> it's in pieces. Okay. Oh, you, but that's broke it, broke it. Yeah. The portal. I know. Was it intentional? It was under the advisement of someone who was in the midst of panic, and I tend to listen to what she says. Did I do that all the time? Hmm. Panic or listen to what other people say? Definitely the panic part, and then break things, but uh, you know, it happens. So my question to you, all of you, but probably you, Hester, is if you know of a way to put something like that back together. Perhaps. You want to use this now for what purpose? I am not done. figuring that place out, but more importantly, getting back to that 
conflux. That was the only way I knew how to get them. Probably shouldn't have broken that mirror then, huh? Right, you'd huh. think. And Eva can't fix it? Not that I know of. Is there any other reason that you are coming here today? Tonight? <sighs> I sense that there is something else. No rest of your good. Maybe, but this is more of a personal matter. Oh, she got we should go have a seat. We've just ambushed him as soon as he's come in. Um, and to be fair, he ambushed us. Sure. Just a moment. I Let's mean... first find out what he wants, and then we shall sit. Ah, uh, the other night, I met someone. It was a little unpleasant, but that's not unusual for me. Mm-hmm. I'm curious if you know them, or if you, and more specifically, what you know about them. A woman named Katya. Ah, oh. why don't we come in and okay. have a seat now? Jasper, you've never been here before. No. To the Mystic Circle. It's clearly a new shop, recently opened. Not a lot of wear and tear yet, but it is very tastefully decorated in a way that would, of course, inspire those who seek its wisdom. Right. There is a very large section devoted to books. Mm -hmm. A quick glance tells you they are not magic. Right. They are about magic, but none of them possess actual spells. Right. If there are any such books here, they are not in this room. There are, of course, supplies that anyone might want to use who are practicing arts right. that you would be considered a cult. But you don't see anything that seems dangerous. Right. A few things you don't recognize that might bear later investigation. And some comfortable furniture. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh, thank you. Do you like the shop? I do. It's very nice. It's, uh... Here, um... I plop down next to him. Next to Jasper? Herman. Mm. <laughs> yes, Herman. Did you I want like to call him Herman. Want to take a look? Uh, his name is Herman. Well, yes. Herman. Yes, a, a friend of... <laughs> you kind of look away. A okay. friend of Hester's. Here. A uh, friend of Hester's. Why, why don't you just go ahead and hold on to him? He tends to make our guests feel a bit more comfortable. I can't imagine what guests would be. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Herman. 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 Yes. Herman. Interesting. Hello, Herman. Jasper, it appears to be an ordinary human skull, and you certainly have seen and likely held plenty of those <laughs> in your time. Yeah. There is no evidence of how Herman met his end. So. Do you like it? I do. Got lots of weird stuff in here. I see that. I cast Bone of Lies. Make a <laughs> hunger check. Roll a red die and tell me. Just the one? What it is. Yes, tell me what the result is. Honk. Success. Mm -hmm. You feel the beast attempt to claw its way out of its cage where you keep it so carefully, but your will is stronger than your beast at this time. Mm. Mm. Ask a question. So, who was it that told you to break this mirror? What effect does this have on me? Well, you are unaware that blood sorcery has been used. Right. You have free will and agency and can do as you like. You feel no different. All right. That would be Eva. Oh. Violet, he is telling the truth. Okay. 
We were the last two in the room. And for concern of Strauss and everybody coming back through the portal, it seemed like at the time, I suppose, the most direct way of escaping. Still the truth. Due to my considerable physical damage I had suffered at that point in time, I was in no position to stand against anybody. Nor will I ever be in the case of Strauss. Understandable. So, this Katya person? Who is this? Ah, um, as much as I know, this would be Eva's sire. Violet, he is telling the truth. Hester, you know things? I have not. Do I know? What do I know about Katya? Because I have not. Hmm. Katya is a name that you have heard. She's a Tremere, like you are. But she belongs to the tower, to the Camarilla. She has been seen many times in the company of Strauss. Now, whether or not there is anything between them, you don't know. But you've never heard Eva mention this individual. Mm -mm. Given your powers, it will probably not be difficult for you to find out more. So considering you three know Eva the best out of anybody I know, I came asking. And why are you not asking her? She isn't in the mood to speak about it at the moment. She was rather shaken by the event. Considering, I believe, she thought this person had died. Violet, he is telling the truth. But... mm, That's all I know, so I was hoping you all would have more information. I can't help you. Sorry. Mm, Unfortunate. Not that I don't want to, I just don't know anything. Well, you don't particularly owe me anything anyway. Dude, I mean, it's kind of not cool. You should probably try to talk to Eva. She should be telling you these things. I'm sure she will in time. But I am very concerned with her safety and expediency is important. Do you believe in imminent threat from Katya? Someone who hangs around around with Strauss pretty regularly seems to be someone we should be worried about. Yes. I agree with that. Violet, he's still, still telling the truth, but the bone has been used several times now and it hasn't got many questions left. Maybe three or four tops. So, I do have one more thing. I'm curious if this has any blood source right left on it. It has so something. What is the object that you were holding up? It is the ring that was given to me by Eva that was then enchanted by Strauss. Could you describe it? It's a pretty simple ring, Mm -hmm. copper in color, with a small design on it, and on the inside there is an inscription. It's written, and it says, Moibogrovi Libestok. Okay, Frodo, I think we could check it out at least. Yes, I think. Considering my talents are not Mm -hmm. suited to that kind of discovery. Mm. Hester? Oh. Yes, it is still potent. Yes, it is. Hester, you hardly need to exercise your considerable powers of magic 
or blood sorcery to tell you mm. that this thing is laden with power, but it is power that sleeps. It is power that... It is well, dormant. Not sure. Perhaps dormant. Perhaps sense the unseen will tell you something. Let's try another roll. Yes. The same roll again. The same eight dice. Okay. Seven black, one red. Did I feel differently with my hand? You did not, Kyoko. Okay. All right. Blank, blank, blank. One, two, three, four, five, five successes and four blanks. Four blank. Yeah. Are any of the black dice onks with stars? No. No. So you needn't fear a messy critical. Your beast stays in check. Five successes is excellent. The power is dormant, but it is in check. It is awaiting something, some word, some emotion, some action that will trigger a magical response. You think you could probably figure out what it is if you examine it carefully enough. Yes. Now only you know these things because only you can see that. Hmm. Yes, this is still quite powerful. Absolutely. It is waiting for a trigger. Ah. For its components to come to life. Now, Hester, given what part of the world you are from, I think you can probably translate the inscription that he spoke. In English, I believe the translation literally is my crimson petal. Yes. My crimson petal. (laughs) Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. I believe it means something to do with great bloodshed. I believe, uh, as far as I've worked out, that ring was initially given to Eva by Katya, Mm. and then was given to me by Eva. As far as I've theorized, Eva used to be a lot different. How so? I don't know, I haven't asked. But Mm. I feel like who she used to be is a little like how I am now. So the ring fit. Anyway, I appreciate you taking a look at it. Jasper. Yes? Are you jealous of Katya? I don't know what in the world I would have to be jealous for. Jasper, are you telling the truth? No. Violet, the skull darkens a shade of crimson. Mm. Crimson. Oh, Jasper. Jasper, you cannot help but notice that the skull has changed color (laughs) as he spoke. (laughs) Clever. You lying. Herman never lies. Look. <laughs> nice, Violet. Y5. <laughs> you can have Herman back now. Herman's a good boy. Let us remember that the ritual works no matter who holds it. Exactly. It mm-hmm. will do it even from afar. Mm-hmm. So you jelly? Uh, my relationship with Eva is between Eva and I. Well, not if you're coming to us asking questions about her. You definitely brought your relationship to our doorstep, and yes, happy to help as much as we can. But you gotta be honest. You should probably talk to your girlfriend, Jasper. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, I will be. <laughs> so she's your girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry. Should probably tell her that. <clears throat> So what would you like us to do with this ring? Uh, I would like to keep it, but I would like to put it somewhere out of the way. I am fond of it, but if it is a trigger for something, some sort of trap or something, I would rather it not be on my person or anywhere near us. Shall we keep it here in the shop? If you feel you have a way to contain it or make it safe. Yes. Sure. I I can trust you three with it. As far as we know, nobody suspects us. It would look great over there. No, Just, I think we should keep it downstairs. I'd prefer it not to be accidentally sold by the people who run the shop during the day. They're trustworthy, but... Yeah. Sticky fingers and all that. Yeah. Yes. Do you think that Katya is someone that we should probably care more about? I mean, be concerned about? She seemed rather unpleasant, but people generally are unpleasant to me. Well, she is close to Strauss. How close? She seems to be here in LA on business for him. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. I don't think that's something we should ignore. No. No. Look, I don't often come and talk to you all without the rest of the coterie involved. No. Your relationship's mainly with Victor, as he is the one who came to give you a place here in the valley and all of that. For which we are forever grateful. Yeah, it's yes. all beyond my pay grade and I don't really care. Question, do you still have some shards of the mirror? Do you, Jasper? Mm. Did you collect pieces of the frame before you left the labyrinth. Uh, I could say I've been back down since it's been a little while. Do you have at least one? I thought that may come in handy, and I'll bring out a small piece of wood from the mirror. So, to whom do you give it? I hand it to Hester. I take it and I look at it. It's wood. It is, in fact, from the mirror in the labyrinth. But the wood is heavy, heavier than it should be. Mm -hmm. It feels like lead in your hands, and it is cold. It radiates cold. You can feel it practically freezing your hand. And mm. you, of course, have no life in your body, no heart to beat, no warm blood in your veins, and yet even you are cold. Mm. I have theories of what that mirror was, but I'm missing quite a few uh, pieces of information. What is your theory? The way the mirror reacted to us was much like what it felt going through uh, with Alessombra in their power set. Hmm. So my theory, having no actual knowledge of what the Alessombra do or how they do it, is that they, as a clan, are tapping into something when they use their abilities. And this mirror is tapping into the same thing. Hmm. I think with a little bit of time, we might be able to help you with your request. That would be lovely. Now, because I know how these things work, mm -hmm. what can I do for you in return? Yes. Well, I think maybe we should confer fur on that and discuss what we need. Jasper, would you like to step outside? I'll step out. So, so is there another room the I can step into? Yes. And exit out and onto the street? I can do that. Do you remain visible? No, I'll... Make a hunger check? I do not get hungrier. Hmm. 
the beast is disappointed. <laughs> so, Jasper has left the shop and shut the door behind him. First question, do you think there's any drawback to bringing this mirror into one piece again? Do we trust him? I... I do. I actually feel pretty strongly that... Well... This all happened to me because of that whole situation, and... It just doesn't feel right to just run away now. No, no, I think so, too. I think... Agreed. He will use it wisely. I think anything that had to do with whatever happened to you, I'm curious in finding more information. If this, if this mirror is part of it, then we should know. And really, we should know anyway. If anyone should have hold of that mirror, it should probably be, be us. I Even th- just for safekeeping. I think it will take two nights for me to... Put it back together. Put it back together? Yes. With just that one piece? I think so. I think I can do it. How can we help? Well, what do you think we want to ask for from Jasper? I just want to help. Does he know more? You think about what happened to you? Potentially. We could ask about that. I mean, we're not doing this for free, I suppose, but I think he could be a good ally. I think mm-hmm. all of to them are good allies. His, our protection of course. continued. Of course. Mm-hmm. Maybe we wait. Rain, check him. Mm-hmm. I want to dig into your mind a little bit, see what these dreams are about. And That's what I was thinking. If Maybe we, can, we say we will help and we will decide. Uh, if, we can put, if we can put them on reserve until I know more. Mm-hmm. Our, f- our boon, our favor will come later. What if I texted Eva? About? I mean, she's the one who texted me when she told us to come out. You do have her number. I mean, she's not talking to Jasper, so. But what if she talks to us? Because we're just cooler. Do you want to wait till do, he's here? Do you want to get in the middle of their relationship? It's Kyoko, of Definitely. course she does. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, of course not. But maybe she knows more about what happened to me. That we should find out. So we'll put Jasper and his friends on reserve until mm-hmm. we know I think more. that's wise. We're all connected I like that's way. fair. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll go get Jasper. So you will go to the door yes. mm-hmm. and open it. Yes. Where are you, Jasper? I'm standing right outside the door. <laughs> I see. I'm here, Violet. Come on in. Hmm. Welcome back. And I drop. So you become visible again. Door shut. Lock. So I think I can reassemble mirror. Oh, do you? I do. I think it, it will take me two nights to do so. Wonderful my estimate. Um, As far as what we would like in return, we would like to reserve that right for a little bit later. All right. And we will let you know. That's... But you're not off the hook. I didn't think I was, Kyoko. Good. Now, I don't want you to think that Eva and I are not on speaking terms. We are. Oh. She just needs some time to sort through what happened. She's had a difficult couple of weeks, what with me almost dying and then Strauss showing up. Hasn't been a great time. Do you want to blow him up? Strauss? Here we go. I mean, I want to blow him up. I'm not against the idea, but I think that would cause a lot of problems. It's not that simple. I know. Here we go. It never is. Did you do that to your hair this morning, evening? No. But it happened when I woke up. It happened when or you woke up. Sometime I, I noticed it when I woke up. From torpor, when Hester brought me back. It was when you blue woke up. Blue eyes, blue hair, blue eyes, blue hair. Would I possibly have read anything about that? To the best of your understanding and your knowledge, it is not possible. 
Vampires do not change. You are static creatures. Right. You cut your hair when you wake up in the evening. You will grow back when you sleep. You could get a tattoo. The ink would leak out, ruin your sheets in the daytime, and it would be gone when you wake up. That's unsettling. Yes, it's very it unusual. Than You're unsettling. I've happened. never seen it before, have you? No. She woke up from torpor with all of it. And it's been a number of nights? Yes. yes. Yeah. Just a few. And it has stayed. Not only Interesting. that. Interesting. It's really growing on me, though. Kyoko. Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. I will never ask you to do this ever again. Uh-oh. What is it, Violet? Can you spark your flames a little bit? Oh, can I? <laughs> Please do it in a direction that I am not standing. Go straight front. Put out my hand. Just a little. Ah, Just a little. Calm of flame. The blue flame. This is new as well. The I color. Think. Jasper, you have seen her create fire before. You've been burned by it. <sighs> it was red and orange and yellow like the sun, but this is blue. Just Indigo, hands. cobalt, royal blue. That is Wait. definitely a different color than it was. That's ah. Kyoko? Kyoko, no. stop <laughs> sorry, now. Sorry, sorry. Jasper, make sorry. a willpower check. Roll all your unspent willpower. <laughs> Will do. One success. Enough. Barely enough to keep from bolting for the door when the flame comes over you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I planned it away. You extinguish the palms of flame. New color. New color. I I'm think it may my Instagram. be something to control her some such way, but I don't know yet. Interesting. Yeah. Strauss seems to like to do things with color. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Yes, with Ava as well. Uh, yeah. Or taking it. Uh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But interesting, he told someone to stop. Were you there, Jasper, when Kyoko got knocked out? We didn't see what happened. No, yes, mirror prevented you from... Mirror prevented us from seeing. seeing. All we saw was her go through, and then we saw her on the ground. Mm. Aurora. In torpor. I'm sure I have also been put into torpor by the hands of Aurora, and it is not pleasant. Well, but I don't know if it was her, but listen, she, so she she looked really aggressive and... Really? No way. <laughs> yeah, go figure, right? Well, I really wanted to blow her up. Fair. But Strauss said, stop, Aurora, don't do it. Or don't. And then I saw a flash of blue light, and that's the last thing I remember. Right, so that doesn't seem like something Aurora does. I don't know. I would say that was either Strauss or one of the black rabbits that were there. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Another question. Another Maybe. mystery. You have some answers. Some solutions, and some hope of future success, if Hester really can do it. But the number of new mysteries at least equals the solutions you now have. This seems like a very appropriate time and place to end our vampire story for now. 